What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So as we all know, one of the big changes to both the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus is the removal of the physical home button. For general day-to-day -day usage of your phone, this isn't a big deal, but if you ever need to hard reset your device, meaning if you ever need to force it to power down because it's freezing or glitching, or if you ever need to enter DFU mode in order to fully restore your device, not having an actual home button means there's a new way to handle those things. The iPhone 7 just doesn't recognize if you hold down the home button with the power button anymore. The only thing that that triggers is the screenshot, so there's a completely new combination of buttons for hard resets and entering DFU mode. To hard reset your phone or force it to shut down, we're going to be using the power button on the right side and the lower volume button on the left. Press down on the power button first for a few seconds, and then while still holding the power button, hold down the lower volume button now as well. Keep holding both buttons down and after a few seconds, your phone should completely shut down. Entering DFU mode requires a few extra steps. You're first going to want to grab a computer because we need to be connected to iTunes to do this. After your phone is connected to the computer via the lightning cable, go ahead and shut down the phone like normal. Once again, we'll be using the power button and lower volume button to do this. So first hold the power button down for about 3 seconds, and then immediately hold the lower volume button for 10 seconds. Your screen should still be black here, so if your phone turns on, you'll have to try again. After about 10 seconds, release the power button, but keep holding the lower volume button for a few more seconds. You should then get a message in iTunes saying that there's an iPhone in recovery mode, and you can now restore it. And if you ever want to get out of DFU mode, just hold down the power button and lower volume button together until your iPhone displays the Apple logo and powers back on again. So there you go, this was just a quick video on something I figured a lot of people may need in the future if they ever run into problems with their iPhone. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.